What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ride With Purpose. If you guys could, hit that subscribe button for me real quick. We are closing in on 400 subscribers to the channel, which is uh, pretty cool for something um, I just kind of started doing over the winter because I was bored and I was driving my wife absolutely insane. See, this winter we didn't have a whole lot of ice, really no ice um, for good ice fishing. And the snow was like really hit and miss all year. So my winter activities were limited. So I came out in the garage and we did a lot of work on my on my 2012 Ultra Limited. And, uh, you know, I started filming a little bit of it here and there. Mainly all the dumb shit I was doing and the mistakes I was making, which is part of life. But uh, I had a video that I was editing um, earlier today, earlier um, this morning actually. And as I was putting it all together, I found that uh, a lot of the footage didn't have, from my GoPro, didn't have any sound to it at all. It was like an old-timey silent movie. So um, that kind of sucked. And then some of the footage that I filmed with it mounted to the bike here was like a stop-motion film. It was one second of action, then it would pause, then a little bit of action, and pause, a little bit of action. And... Uh, Needless to say, I'm pretty disappointed in the, uh, so far, the overall dependability of the GoPro that I that I have purchased. Um, is it that big of a deal? No. I mean, I don't make money off this channel. I will never make money off this channel. This is just a hobby for me to do. But it is a bit frustrating, especially when you're out there doing your thing and you get some good shots or you get some good footage of things and... Uh, it just doesn't come through, whether I'm putting it out there on YouTube or I'm just keeping it for personal stuff, which I film a lot, and a lot of it's just for me. I don't put it all out there for for everybody. So um, that's one thing about this YouTube thing. It's it's a hobby. <laughs> you know, this isn't a job. It'll never be a job. It'll never turn into a job for me. This is just something that I do when I have the free time to do it. Um, we talked about this before. I'm not a guy who has a set schedule on on videos that come out a certain time, a certain day every week. Um, I have a, an amazing family and I have a job and, uh, and I have my friends in my life and this is kind of, this takes a backseat to all that. So well, when I have time and when I have, not only when I have time, but also when I have the want to do something, that's when I'll be putting videos out. So it's all first world problems, to be honest with you. So anyways, I am starting to doubt though, my decision to buy the GoPro. Um, I was going back and forth between the GoPro and the Action 4. And the only reason I bought the GoPro because it came, the bang for the buck was better at the time for what I was doing. So it is what it is. But anyways, um, to relay some of the video that I did film, I put a new tire on the back of the bike. Yeah, so we put ourselves a new Dunlop American Elite on the back of this old pig, and uh, it was quite the adventure getting that back tire off, I'll tell you. When I say quite the adventure, it really wasn't all that bad, but I've been down to one hand for the last uh, three or four days. I did something to my hand. I had it in a brace for a little bit, but I can't squeeze nothing super hard or do a lot of repetitive motions. Um, so... Today, it's Sunday now, it's a lot better. The swelling's gone down pretty good, but uh, I was having quite <laughs> quite difficulties even uh, turning a, a socket. So, uh, Brother Mook came over, he helped me out. We, I got all the bags off. I had to take my uh, my Tab Performance uh, mufflers off because they're four and a half and it fits like where the bolt's at. You couldn't get the, the axle all the way through. So we did all that. Mook came over, we got the uh, tire off on Thursday evening and then Friday while I was at work I swung by Junior's Tires here in Traverse City, Michigan. I'll put a thing up for them if you are local and they um, they don't sell motorcycle tires but they do mount them. So like we took the rim in, they took the old tire off, mounted and balanced the new tire, the Dunlop American Elite and um, I dropped it off thinking I'd get it a few hours later. And within 30 minutes, they called me and said, Bubba, your tire is good to go. So um, we ran back over there. So for 
took the old tire off, mounted and balanced the new tire, and discarded of the old guy. And uh, I think that's a pretty damn fair price. Uh, $30 is not that much money for uh, what they did. Plus, they got it done super quick. And I'm willing to bet if I would have said I was in a, an emergency situation, they would have stopped what they were doing to take care of it for me. So, um, again, Junior's Tires here in Traverse City, Michigan. Well done. So, yeah, so we put a new tire on. We put it back down. I changed the oil last week, and I didn't do the primary. So I went to do the primary and get that off myself. And it ended up, last time I changed the oil, one of the bolts that hold the derby cover on was was pretty uh, trashed out. And I said to myself, Yeti, you got to... You got to change that out. So I went and ordered a nice set of uh, a drag specialty, the hardened stainless steel, blah, 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 blah. Derby bolt kit for like 45, 50 bucks. Put it on the shelf, completely forgot about it. Then I went to change it this time. I forgot I even ordered these. Ordered another set. And while we were getting it out, it stripped the bolt out, the head of it. And it was almost like that stuff is made of, like the original Harley stuff. It's like made of Play-Doh, honestly. So we attempted to extract it. Uh, Mook came over. He has a little bit more experience with that as well. I bought this Icon set that I've never used. Got this from the People's Republic of Harbor Freight. It was highly recommended from other YouTubers. And we drilled it, did everything right. And we just slowly started to uh, tap it in. And the thing broke off completely. So now I have an issue. Right there. So we got a piece of hardened steel in there as well. I already replaced the other ones. But that's an issue. So luckily I don't need to change my primary right now. It hasn't been it's still within service range. Um, but I really don't know what else to do with that. Um, we can't really drill it out anymore, I don't think. And at the time, I was pretty frustrated with it. And So best thing for me when I get frustrated is just to walk away. Otherwise, the bike ends up upside down. Oh, look at dogs barking. I'll be right back. Wasn't paying enough attention to her, apparently. But yeah, like I was saying, the best thing for me to do when I get uh, frustrated is just to kind of walk away otherwise the uh the angry guy comes out and things get even more damaged so um i did pick up another hardened this thing's supposed to go through like hardened steel and then we're going to try to tap that out but other than that i don't really know what else to do with it if uh, anybody out there who does this <laughs> can give me any suggestions i would totally appreciate it my thought was to take the whole primary cover off and take it in and drill press it through so there's a little bit more um, control of it and then i also thought about just getting a whole new primary cover anyways because i was thinking about switching some of the chrome out to black and this might be my excuse to do that so again my bike is a uh, big blue pearl up top with the uh, vivid black secondary cover but everything's chrome on it which is cool i don't mind it but um, I was really going back and forth on getting the Tad Performance um, black exhaust and throwing some black in there or some. So I think if I do that and I keep uh, what I would like to do is maybe do the black covers up here and, you know, get those in black and then uh, maybe even doing the primary in black, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and uh, I got a new one of these coming. This is a stock one, and I'm surprised it's held up as long as it's held up, but I got a new custom one of those coming this way. So one of the pitfalls for me on getting any black um, parts, especially if the uh, headers and the muffler system for the bike is that they kind of get kind of dingy over time. And, uh, you know, I like to keep my bikes looking pretty, pretty clean, especially when I'm here locally <laughs> doing stuff. Now, if I'm on a road trip, I'm not stopping to clean the bike off, of course. But uh, 
I do enjoy, I do enjoy keeping my bike nice and tight. Um, not only can I see any maintenance issues that might be coming up with it, but it's just something that's therapeutic for me. I really, really enjoy sitting out here and uh, going over the detailing of the bike. Um, all the parts that you, a lot of people might not even notice or see. Um, I like getting in there and making it look good. So it's just my personality, I guess. So I got people out there that, you know, if you're cleaning, you ain't riding, blah, 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 blah. And I get that. That's cool. That's you. But, you know, if you ain't cleaning, you ain't finding issues. That's also a pretty legitimate argument. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just leave it at that. Everyone has their own thing. You ride your ride. I'll ride mine. So, um, yeah, that's really what we got going on right now. I might go out for a little bit of a spin, but I got work to do around the house, as I said. Um, but this coming Friday, this is Sunday right now, this coming Friday... I have to do what my daddy used to always tell me. I have to cram a uh, 10 pounds of shit into a five pound bag. So, <laughs> meaning, um, not only do I have my regular nine to five job I have to do, um, I have family obligations this week as well. My beautiful wife is turning 40 something years old this week. And uh, we got some things to do with that. And then, um, but Friday, Friday's gonna be an awesome day. So Friday, we are going out to, uh, at 11 o'clock or so, we are meeting with our friends from Grand Traverse Industries, GTI. So what GTI is, it's a local nonprofit that works with adults with disabilities, uh, providing care and um, like a working environment for them. They're, they actually have jobs in there that they can, they can do. And it's a super cool place to be. Um, I've heard of GTI. For a long time, I've always seen the stuff around, you know, the logo, but I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like a, a factory. <laughs> so, um, turns out it's not. It's something way better than that. It is a, uh, a, a really cool nonprofit, again, that helps uh, adults with disabilities. And um, back in February or March, I got to tour their Traverse City facility here. And man, I was really impressed by, by what I saw in that place. Um, not only just from the team members they're working, but from the clients that they serve. Just a really cool place. You can tell it's, it's like family there. You know, I was walking around with uh, my connection, who's a friend of mine, and uh, we're just walking through the building and through where they all are, and everyone's coming up to her, giving her a hug, saying good morning, and all that stuff, asking, who's this big lug with you, you know? And it was, uh, it was really cool. It's kind of heartwarming to see um, workers there that, care that much about the people that they're serving you know which it shouldn't be that big of a surprise we're all human and that's how it should be but it was really cool to see so we're going to be doing that and the reason we're doing that we're going out there to do a little bit of an interview with them um a couple of small things with the channel here i'm going to be getting into doing a little bit more um interview style um episodes i more like a podcasty type but no podcast just on the just on the youtube here um it won't be every single video. It'll just be once in a while. But So GTI is hosting their very first ever motorcycle event. Um, it's their first annual GTI poker run. And it's a benefit to help raise money for them. And uh, we've been asked to be a part of it. So um, what we are going to do is Ride With Purpose. We're more of consultants for them. I want this to kind of be a standalone thing on their own. Um, GTI is a very well-known uh, nonprofit in town. They don't really need my help, just with the motorcycle end of things. So what we are doing, I say we as in Mook and I, um, we have helped. I've done nothing. I'll be honest with you. I've done zero. I made a cool logo. That was kind of neat. And then I went there and said, you know, motorcycles are cool. And then Mook actually came up with a really nice ride for the poker run. Um, a little bit different than what the norm is up here. So everyone seems to go down Old Mission Peninsula, or M22, Lealong County. We're doing something a little bit differently, incorporating Long Lake, which is my backyard here. Uh, Lake Ann, out to Honor, and then back through um, GTIs on the south end of town. So, um, <clears throat> and hitting up parks along the way. So there'll be obviously five stops, five, sp five stops, boo, and uh, <clears throat> ending that GTI. We're well, gonna be having a carnival, um, hopefully some live music they're working on that they got food games all sorts of stuff they have a dunk tank which would be cool and then on top of it we're gonna have some really badass motorcycles there for everyone to see 
And uh, I'm really, I'm really excited about that. And I'm really proud of Miss Cody who's putting this on. She's taking the bull by the horns, and just uh, it's really neat to meet somebody who has passion, you know, no matter what they're doing. And she has, she has extreme passion for what she's doing, which is cool. Then after that, I gotta go back to work for a little bit, right? And then um, in the afternoon, we got something really cool. So I don't know exactly, <laughs> exactly what it all entails, but. I got an invite through a friend from Northern Michigan Bikers Facebook group that I run. If you guys don't know about it, please head over to Facebook, join Northern Michigan Bikers, answer a couple quick questions, and you're in. It tells you all the ins and outs of what's going on here in Northern Michigan, uh, bike events, rallies, biker-friendly businesses, rides, whatever. So a friend of mine hit me up on there and said, hey, do you know about the uh, open ramp? Never heard of it. So he invited me, and this is kind of a... It's open to the public, but it's kind of word of mouth invite type thing. Um, they don't really go out there and post about it. But we're going to be meeting at the American Legion here in Traverse City. And we're going to be escorting the Blue Angels who are coming here for Cherry Fest. Uh, Blue Angels is the Navy uh, flying team that goes around all over the country and does, uh, you know, air shows. And uh, we're going to be escorting them to the Grand, to the uh, the Coast Guard Station here in Traverse City, which is it's not really a ride. It's uh, about a mile away. But we get to go into the Coast Guard airfield, um, park the bikes, get to meet some people, shake some hands, take some pictures. And uh, I'm freaking pumped about that. That'll be a really, really cool opportunity. The Blue Angels are absolutely amazing. So if you guys ever have a chance to go watch them, um, it's super cool. Plus what they do for the communities. Um, I don't know what they do all over the place, but here in Traverse City, they make time for us here. Um, it's, it's really cool. So um, we'll be doing some of that. And I'm going to do my best to try to film that as much as I can. Uh, Again, I'm not very good at this YouTube thing. I tend to live in the moment, and I don't think about taking the camera out and doing stuff. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do uh, a little bit better at that. But um, yeah, so it'll be a, a pretty fun weekend coming up um, with that. And then on Saturday, I'm heading over, fingers crossed, to the Ogemaw County Fairgrounds. Is it the Ogemaw County Fairgrounds? Hang on. Man, I suck as a hype man. That was way off. The Ogemaw County Fairgrounds is actually this weekend for Bike Bash over in West Branch, which I wasn't able to go to. It's some family obligations. But we're going to be heading over to a charity event and poker run for Adri's Angels. I'll actually put up a full thing of that, but this is a pretty tragic story, this young lady. Um, I'll go into it later on, but it hit me hard. So uh, June 29th at 11 a.m., they are at the From Here On Out, which is a local little watering hole there in Oscoda. So at 5606F41, Oscoda, Michigan, they got themselves a poker run. It's going to be a lot of fun. And the proceeds from this go to assist families with trauma and loss through the Northeast Michigan, Michigan's Children's Assessment Center. So again, I will put the full thing of this guy up here on the screen. If you guys are in the area... Please go check it out. I'm going to do my very, very best to get over there and be a part of this. Um, I've been handing out flyers and doing things uh, between all over Northern Michigan and south to Grand Rapids. So um, these people came onto the Northern Michigan Bikers uh, Facebook group last year. Um, didn't really get to meet them, but this year at the uh, Thunder Roads um, bike show, the Mackinac City Rally, um, Miss Tara came up to me and introduced herself and um, told me the story about this young girl who was tragically murdered and taken way, way too soon. And uh, through her death and through this loss, the family has come together to fulfill her dreams of being a child advocacy attorney to help other kids out who are in her situation. And uh, man, it just, it gets to me. It just sends, I'm goosebumped right now about it. It's just... Not only does it just infuriate me that somebody did this to a to a young girl, 13 years old, but um, just the potential this this little one had to do so much good in our in our communities and in our lives. So taken far too soon. So, anyways, we're gonna go there. We're gonna celebrate. Um, this is something that's been going on for quite a while now. I think this is the fourth year for it, and uh, it's just sad. It's just sad. So. Again, I'll throw this whole thing up there. 
so you guys can take a look at it. So if you are on in Michigan, it's on the east side, um, head over there. I will, I will almost guarantee I'll be there. So next to that, so that's all we got coming up, man. So we're going to stay busy. We're going to try to stay dry. The weather has finally turned and, uh, we're going to, we're going to get some yard work done, but, uh, until next time, I appreciate y'all. And, uh, remember as always ride safe and ride with purpose. See ya.